this house when we uh, first saw it totally inspired us. It was um, it was like a raw gem and. Uh, after travelling and seeing, you know, even lofts in New York, we felt that it had a real essence that was untouched. So um, we were really excited by the rawness of the property and to find such a inner city dwelling in the middle of such a beautiful setting. When you come into the home and, and uh, you walk down those stairs and you just get a glimpse of Mount Macedon as you walk down those stairs, um, it's really quite breathtaking. Um, the best thing about the house is that from every level we've got these amazing views. So um, wherever you walk, whatever you do, you're just looking out and you're seeing the sky change constantly. The views change. It's just amazing. Um, this middle of the house is sort of like the hub and the heart of the house where when you're cooking or making a cup of tea or just coffee and just having friends over or family, um, just to entertain in, in that mid-level and uh, you can just, it feels homely but also it just feels so open and, and part of your environment. The master suite is just a delight every morning to wake up. You see the sunrise, you see the sunset. We don't even, you know, put the blinds down at night, some nights, because you just like to look at the lights and, and see the sky. It's like you're living in the treetops. One of my favorite things is on a foggy morning, just waking up and, and being totally engulfed in the fog. And you just put on the fireplace and you just feel totally secure. And, and it's just so relaxing to be in. You walk up the top level and, and the guests that stay are just amazed and blown away with the views from, from there. Um, you go out there and you sit on the deck at a night and, and watch the sunset and have a drink. It's just incredible, we never ever get sick of it. It's just amazing. You can even watch the planes fly, fly in. Uh, you know, you see the sunset over Mount Macedon. Uh, it's just, just an incredible place to be. The bottom levels, in some ways, the most exciting part of the house because it's sort of, you just don't expect it. You sort of walk down those stairs and all of a sudden you've got these high ceilings and it's really the essence of the warehousey feel that we did want to create. So we really wanted to enhance the 1950s characters of the house and leave them because that's sort of the essence of the house and uh, we didn't want to take away that um, the soul of the house but we wanted to really just modernise it and, um, and it just made sense just to keep it really simple. Just go with your simple blacks and, and whites that we find just so relaxing to live with and, and it, the black house itself um, which we feel like is a little bit like a warehouse in the middle of the hills. We felt that it just needed to be that black and just sit in the environment um, and just let the trees and the gardens be, be the, the hero of the whole house. You come out, we see little wallabies on the grass, we can see deer. Um, we've got the rhododendrons that flower. Um, one of my favourite things is the golden elm to the side of the house and um, we've got the fire pit there that we can sit there and, and just relax. One of the best parts about this property is that we're so close to the city. Um, when it's not peak we can get into the city you know in 45 minutes to an hour and we can go see a live show. You can be home um, so quickly and, and you're in such a beautiful environment. We've got the best of both worlds. We'll miss this house. Um, it's a beautiful place to live. It's a touch of inner city in amongst the trees with the most beautiful views.